Welcome to the party, pal. I am Commander Tom. This is Startopia Episode 2. But before we get into the mission, I had one of the greatest experiences of my YouTube career thus far. When I put out the notice about I was doing a Startopia Let's Play, I obviously dropped the news to Twitter. And I got the best tweets I have ever had, ever, in which Tom Forsythe, the actual creator of Startopia, actually liked it, he retweeted it, and he actually said, the only thing more zen than playing it is watching someone playing it. That is some of the highest praise. When the game creator gives you their blessing to do your Let's Play on their game, it's a good day. It is a good day. Let's continue with that good day and continue in with the first official mission for Startopia. We are going to go ahead and start off today with the actual player missions. This, of course, will start off with... I'm not even going to worry about the tutorials. We're going to go ahead and start off with the actual missions themselves. Now, this is something that uh, I love this game in part because what we usually do is start off with the essential worker, something very thematically appropriate for these days. This glistening before you like a jewel is the Grulian way station. I welcome you to it. Permit me to introduce myself. I am Val, a virtual artificial life form. It is my task and possibly my pleasure to assist you during your time at this way station. Val is worth his weight in gold for entertainment value in this game. I love the Douglas Adam humor. I love the wonderfully informative yet sardonic tone that Val has through the entire game. Truly worth it. The mission assigned to you, if I may be so bold, is as follows. Your employers, the Grulian Workers' Party, require you to turn this way station into somewhere the asteroid miners can relax between their arduous shifts. I shall be on hand to aid you, of course, and I wish you luck, speed, and freedom from stupidity. <laughs> freedom from stupidity. Gotta love it. Nothing will enter or exit the way station without a docking portal. You must build one with the hard plan crate provided. Two crates containing scuzzer droids have also been provided to aid you in this task. When you completed it, vessels will be able to connect with the station and cargoes of goods or people can arrive or leave. It's vital, so you should start its construction immediately. Immediately, I said. Not beam that up. Like I was saying last time with these uh, Mark I scuzzers, because they just little, you know, kind of short, stubby legs and they just kind of scoot along, I usually beam them all over the place. All species need to rest sometimes, it's a universal truth. So I suggest you build a berth containing at least five sleeping pods. You'll need to use the hard plan crate provided. There will be no sleep until you've done it. on any droid you can set the priorities for them. Obviously uh, repair re 
German equipment, build rooms, recycle litter, clean rooms and equipment. My first priority is almost always build rooms, so shift that to the top. And then I do like to see recycle litter as number two. Then we can get into repair and clean. A lavatron is required. These units sanitize, refresh, and clean anyone entering them. Some races are cleaner than others, but at least with a lavatron, you're giving them the option to divest themselves of all the germs, goo, and unhygienic horridness that they may be caked in. This is basically Again, the you'll need the to use the hard plan crate. You cannot beam that up. Touchy targeting. I was trying to drop them both down. Things seem to be going well. My fears that you'd be a disaster appear unfounded. <laughs> Way station Zeton Setoi imploded a while ago when its supervisor unprimed the flux discharge tunnels and the static megaburst instantly turned the place back into star stuff. Oh, don't worry. The design of that place was nothing like this. Uh, not a business. You must construct a dynamat using the hard pan crate. This will feed the population. At least until it gets much larger. And then this is basically your space replicator. Let's take this as an opportunity to get to know the races as well. The Grillian Salt Hardens. Um, these guys are essentially, seriously, your essential personnel. Your factory working people here. Okay. Uh, kind of go through uh, the way the stats you have on any character. You've got skill, dedication, loyalty. You know, kind of give an idea here. The most important variable I think to keep in mind, especially if you ever want to talk about hiring people, is criminal record. You want to make sure you don't hire criminals because they'll take the job, but then they will sabotage everything. So don't hire criminals. Um, you've got desires here. Do they need medical attention, food, hygiene, love, entertainment, sleep, or spiritual uh, seeking redemption? And I always thought that uh, this multifaceted uh, aspect of a uh, person's desires was a neat spin on it all. Got to keep the working man uh, happy. And these stats categories are the same for every uh, alien. It's just every alien has a slightly different need requirement. So as you deal with multiple species, you've got to build a more complicated station to satisfy them all. Your droids are working hard. As I have to say are you. However, you don't need recharging and they do. A droid recharger is your construction task. Unless you are denser than an embryonic antiquasar, you'll know by now that you'll need a hard plan crate to do this. I'm not clicking on the hard plan crates themselves because I know that if I just uh, right click on the deck, then I get this list, which if I have any uh, hard plans, the list pops up as options. That's how I'm bringing that up for reference. Okay, and right now, all my sleeping pods are in use, so we'll come back into the category to add a few more. Alright, kind of give you an idea on pop-up menus, and again, I am right-clicking on the item. It defaults to using energy, literally energy from here, the energy collector, which is both your energy and your currency in the game. 
when you have the option either through trading and buying them or growing them themselves you can toggle these over to use real food or mineral based synth synthetics uh, I usually toggle it over to real food I think that also increases the enjoyment factor of the station but I don't have that option right now because on this game we're limited to one ring. It's an entry level of the level. Congratulations, your progress is certainly impressive. An impartial observer might comment that you have the luck of the roulette playing Decapus of Axis Prime. <laughs> Supervisor, your lack of ineptitude is a blessing. Yeah. It's time to open a new segment. This will give you a new area in which to expand. You may congratulate yourself, but not for long. There is much to do. You are aware of how the hard plan crates operate, and you'll need this knowledge to construct a wealth of new units. If I wasn't so cynical, I'd be quite excited at the prospect. I love that. Your lack of ineptitude is a blessing. <laughs> Seriously, Val is half the entertainment of this game. A recycling plant is urgently required. Efficiency is everything in space. By recycling, you'll convert waste, almost any waste, back into energy. Four salt hogs are required to work the recycling plant, but more of that later. Your first task is to build it in a useful position. All right, recycler. Keep that fairly off to the side there, all right. Now we gotta hire people. So click on the people uh, icon on your uh, corner menu. And these are the only race you've got. So what we're gonna wanna do then is just keep an eye on someone with some decent skill. He is not a criminal, but he likes listening to the space rock band, the Rolling Asteroids. <laughs> Good, the recycling plant is built, but as I said, you need four salt hogs to operate it. Hire them using the hire menu. Remember that although it pays to get the best, it also costs. Hmm, let's write that down. It's a useful saying. It reminds me of uh, the world's end. I can hear me from the pod. Get my camera angle right. Oh yeah. Getting busy enough, getting dirty. as a star whistle. Special interest? Solar surfing, whistling in the dark, and mind melding. Citizen, special interest, anti gravity dancing, and collecting second hand scuzzers. <laughs> Hang on, you.
Unblemished background, special interest, fishing. Oh, space wrap. Alright, we need to clean up the station a little bit here, so. Especially around. Supervisor, why not help your scuzzer droids by beaming up rubbish and junk and dropping it directly into the recycler? Or is such a menial task below you? Yes, yes it is. But for the sake of the game, I shall lower myself to help my peoples. Who are you? Uh, I am from the all the way station supervisors from the Gloolian worlds through the six voids right out to the Kelpian black hole. Must be you. In which case, I am Arona Dar, most respected of the free traders. <laughs> Delighted to meet you. Anyway, I'm in this sector offloading some late vintage mucus wine. And as I have a couple of scuzzer droids I don't require, I thought I should give you first refusal. You'd be getting a bargain if you took them. Arona... Like in any prison movie, like Sh Shawshank Redemption or anything, Arona is a man who knows how to get things. <laughs> I love him. Uh, and you can see by the three frowny faces here, he's robbing me blind for it. But I've got some cash in the bank, and quite frankly, I could use the droids. So that's kind of the relationship that Arona and us have. A supervisor, I must demand your immediate attention. Some technology crates have arrived and I insist that you open them without further delay. Today reminds me of the Grulian Festival of Grimbus, when a random selection of gifts and low-grade toxins are handed to the youngsters, who either squeal with delight or choke as their ventricles are temporarily paralyzed. <laughs> Alright, these are technology crates. These will tell us how to build things once we open it. Uptron. Okay. And to kind of show you... And to show you how that's different then, we now have that option permanently in our things. As you learn new technology, either through these things or more often researching them yourselves, you won't need the hard plans, you'll just know how to build it and it'll appear in your menu. And now that's added. Alright, so what's the quantities? You are busy, and therefore it gives me pleasure to interrupt you, Supervisor. Three tasks await your attention. You must construct another Dynomat, a Lavatron, and a Berth. Your population is increasing, and if you neglect these tasks, you could face a mob of hungry, smelly, tired customers. And I wouldn't wish that on you, frankly. six in for now. I'll put another row of six in at a later time. Well, if I need to. Dynamat. Oh, I also forgot to do one thing. That's okay. Okay, remember when I was uh, accessing the droid memory? Okay. We want build room as priority. Then we want recycle litter. Then we want yes, repair and clean. And then we want to link all the droids together to those same priorities. Got to do 
do that. Alrighty. Okay. You are busy, and therefore it gives me pleasure to interrupt you, Super. Mm, I've seen supervisors come and go, but you look like you were doing well here. I remember old Migby Pariah. He looked like a 2D laser copy of himself when that bile worm eventually crawled out. Serves him right, I suppose. Listen, you don't want to buy it. No, I can see you're not into that. And the stuff I have is shockingly strong. Sorry, should we mention it? What's the deal this time? The salt hogs you previously hired are good workers and in line with your current expansion. It might be an excellent idea to bring the total number of salt hog employees up to six. Use your skill, judgment, and instinct to pick those that won't let you down. Scratcher kite. Scratchers are gigantic beetles. And I mean gigantic. They're bigger than these, you know, salt hogs here. And uh, they will destroy everything. It's kind of like uh, xenomorphs from uh, the Alien franchise. Cybernetics and fishing. It seems that you're either a competent supervisor or you're lucky. Either I'll way, you're lucky any day. Success, and you will not now suffer the fate of one supervisor many years ago. His name, I recall, was Migby Pariah. What happened to him? Oh, he had a bile worm implanted in his central eye. When it finally crawled up his toe, it was nine meters long. The Grulian culture can be cruel, but it's also rather beautiful, don't you agree? <laughs> By the way, make sure all your visitors have adequate facilities. Okay, kind of check on stats. People, but now we're going to move over to the overview. We're just going to take a look here. And green, obviously, is happy. General overview. And on those nine categories, again, we're taking a look at, you know, how are everyone faring. We're still pretty decent on everything. I'm seeing pretty much all the uh, sleeping pods being used. I'll drop in another row. Always hit accept, otherwise it'll cancel out whatever your build orders were. And then, especially in these uh, early days when you have a slight pause here and there, probably the best thing to do is keep an eye on the floor for trash. You don't want to have too much trash collecting because that will lead to space rats. I forget if there's a fancier name in it, but it's basically what they are, space rats. Uh, getting around. And that's part of the equation that can get those scratchers, again those uh, in-game xenomorphs, actually appearing on the station and they will literally wreck everything. Excuse my interruption but I have new orders from the Grulian Workers Party Secretary. You are to expand the way station into a communications relay post. I assured the GWP that you're capable of this. I hope this faith in you is not misplaced otherwise we'll both be visiting the labor exchange on Prodar 6. Oh, grey travelers have also been granted access to the station. How delightful. <laughs> the greys are exactly who you think they are. Okay. So they want us to be a communication port. We're going to need some new hard plants here eventually. Alright.
The GWP have dispatched a number of TARG communication experts to your station. Whilst members of the TARG make good workers, don't be fooled by their insectile nature. The TARG are a proud race. They would say haughty and aloof. The rest of us say miserable. Your task is to keep your TARG employees happy. Keeping employees content is an unwelcome but necessary part of every supervisor's role. <laughs> Who knows? One day you may even make me happy. Impossible. It is impossible. <laughs> the GWP have dispatched a number of TARG communication experts. The new TARG employees need looking after, Supervisor. Remember they're an entirely different race. Ensure your facilities can accommodate them comfortably. Two hard plan crates have been provided. From these you may build two comm sensors. After all, if you want to expand, you must communicate with the outside universe. That's an old Gruelian cliche, if you must know. Apologize for tearing you from your presumably vital work, but an emergency message is arriving via the comm sensor channels. Alright, so we're going to have a uh, sick individual come onto the station. Obviously, this is setting up for the uh, last part of the mission. We need to be able to get him cured. That's why the Greys were given access here. The Greys are your medical race. And yes, these are the Greys. They're exactly who you think they are. And there's lots of jokes here about uh, them uh, visiting Earth and doing all the typical Grey stuff that we've always come to know them for. This gentleman loves collecting fine Mongolian mucus wine. You know, we could cure that ailing diplomat if only we had a sick bay. What course of action should we take? Cure Rona. You are clearly a supervisor of great ability. I have something you might like. I never offer this to anyone else, but I have a nearly new sick bay. It's yours if you want it. I never thought I'd sell it as it was a gift from four of my mothers. <laughs> but I like your face. So it's yours if you're interested. Yes. At least it wasn't a huge uh, ripoff. Alright, so let's slip on over here. I know that this is getting to end game for this mission, so we're just going to build a small little sick bay. My standard size for most buildings usually starts to be about 5x5. Five five. And of course we're going to need to hire some greys to actually staff this thing, so... Oh, good! Uh, so... For clarification, when you get these flashy lights here, these gentlemen have been working hard and long enough that they qualify and they want a promotion. So as you occasionally see these things, if you don't want them to quit their jobs, walk off literally the entire station and space themselves, not kidding here, it's just cheaper and easier to actually promote them, and it makes them happy and you're a good person. And that's what's the most important thing, right? So we go to visitors. We focus on the alien doctors. Let's see what he can up to. Good. Hey, you. Warping 
mutilating... <laughs> see what I mean? Special interest. Warping, mutilating cattle, and practical jokes. <laughs> yeah, sure. You can be one of my doctors. Feel free. I like a practical joker as my chief medical officer. Ah, uh, too late. Oh, well. Hey, before you uh, go take a nap, you want to go cure this guy? Alright. No criminal record. Hobbies. Particle physics. Photographing black holes. Going boldly when no alien has gone before. No, I'm telling you, this is one of those games where you just need to read the notes because there's so many jokes put into it. It's like this is set in the Hitchhiker's verse. It's hilarious, it's awesome, I love it. It this is it feels sometimes like Hitchhiker's uh, Guide to the Galaxy, the video game. It's it's brilliant. I love it. We have a sick bay. Now we need a great alien to operate it. Find one and hire him immediately. There's no time to... Good news from the sick bay, Supervisor. The diplomat who arrived on the Zedum shuttle Surundai has made a full recovery. Apparently he drank some bad mucus wine. You, it seems, ought to be congratulated on your handling of this delicate incident. Alright, so that's mission one. That's something that uh, I think uh, is a good breaking point for now. I'm Commander Tom, I thank you for watching. If you like more of this, leave a like and subscribe. Once you've done that, feel free to check out the Commander Crew favorites. If you like this, I've got a boatload of things that the rest of the command team loves. If you've already watched all of those, I've got something selected special just for you. I'm Commander Tom, and I will see you next time. Thanks.